Holy crap, it popped up to me like a freaking uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. This thing is ugly. This thing's ugly. You're ugly. Who followed the I'm just mean, huh? I'm gonna have nightmares. This is the man. This, this is like. I don't think the I am God face from Sonic EXE was scary enough. <laughs> And I'm talking about the old one from 2012. The, the 2012 version. Like I'm going to be honest. That thing scared me, and I was 12. But no, no, no. That thing is not scary. This, however, is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> this is scarier than Christmas night at Richard Cheers' house. Exactly, this thing's ugly. You probably didn't get it. Just go watch the go watch the dunk go watch the donkey video on Gex and you'll know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention. And I'm too busy thinking, this thing's ugly. <laughs> Did Ken Pendertrip? Just... I didn't know Ken Pendle can draw. Wait a minute. I mean I don't want to do too much, but I kinda of wish I just went straight to this because this is probably the best freaking source of talk I've ever got. <laughs> I'm looking up more pictures, all right? I just got to look up more pictures. So I'm going to look up everything about this. I'm going deep in this rabbit hole. All right. I got media, so there's pictures. Okay. I'm going deep in this rabbit hole, dude. Be careful. People went down that deep. Neville came back the same. I'll probably find... I'm probably, probably going to find pornography on his page. <laughs> and don't worry, don't worry. As long as... I Hey, as long as it doesn't show in the video, we're not showing it, alright? If there is. This is still gonna be more... This is gonna be child-friendly, alright? I'm kinky well, enough. at least as family-friendly as we could go. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of kinky enough to show it up here. Prepare for the worst, guys. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's good. <laughs> okay, um, here's a picture of his Knuckles comics he did. Uh, the, the, the initial Lara Sucre, like this was the guy that did stuff for freaking Archie. This man right here, he's the one that did the cover up for the Sonic Sad AM Complete Series DVD. Wait, that was that was that was an actual artist that made that cover art. I thought that was another fan thing since a lot of it was fan art on there. Well, I think it might be. I don't know. Again, I can't even tell anymore. I heard it was him somewhere, but I don't know. Maybe just, it is him. Just, I, I, I am speechless. That was the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I've seen... I've seen draw a Sonic drawing that's been drawn in the snow by piss, and it looked better than that. <laughs> oh, that's a... All right, here's another picture. That's and it. this is what I wanted to show you as well. Because I wanted to show you the human character. And let me tell you, that human character is the worst-looking human character I've ever seen in a comic book. Eh, it sure ain't can't be bank, All right. man. All right, I send it to you. If it pops up, <laughs> this is a jump scare you this time. <laughs> Yeah, the last one jump scared me. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> Get him on fire! Oh, it popped a lot faster. <laughs> Which one's the human character? You'll see it on the right. Yeah. I see what you mean now. You'll see OJ Simpson.
What's with the chins and what's what's with the what's <laughs> with the mouth? This guy looks like freaking OJ Simpson. <laughs> Or, or freaking Bill Cosby, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cracking myself up because I'm literally imagining of either a murderer or freaking or freaking Bill Cosby or freaking Raven as Did, the main character in this. Is he the? Is he the? Is he? Is he? Is he the funnel? Is all these all these love childs? I'm ruining the bet that. I ain't really. I'm ruining the bet. All these things are his kids. That, no, <laughs> that is, that is oh, either OJ Simpson or Bill Cosby. I'm just going to call it that. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby. the freaker. One of the stick is Joe and put a pop in one of these echidnas. And here's the thing you got these two. Normal looking. No, that face, that face, that face right there. He makes looks like he wants to stick one of his Jello pony pops into the kid does. <laughs> and here's the thing too. These first two, uh, these these two women female characters on the on the front looks normal. But everybody else looks looks like they came out of the ugly tree. <laughs> It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. They look like they came out of Willy Wonka's ugly machine. This is the It's a fucking joke. If I grew, if I grew up with Sonic and I saw this, I probably would have stuck with freaking. I'm gonna be honest. I would have stuck with Crash Bandicoot. I'm like, this is Sonic can turn no. If Sonic ended up being like this, like if this is what the series came down to, like it stopped being cool to turn into this, I would have been all like, okay, I'm going, I'm just going to stick with Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> you know, the lips kind of makes me think. At least Crash too. the Titans didn't make up like, <laughs> as a Bill Cosby looking character. At least Crash the Titans didn't have a looking weird looking thing. Seriously, this is look like something you see out of fetish art or. Or from like forfantasy.com. Not something that you would see someone actually do for a comic. This just needs to be said because I have to rant about this. I don't care if this guy freaking blackmails it. This just what the. I have to say something about this because because I don't think I see enough videos on YouTube about this crap. Like I only saw that one video from Sonic show or whatever like years ago or whatever and nobody makes videos on it. I don't even see Dumbsville do a video on it. I think he mentioned it once but that's it as far as I remember. I think so I think I need to be the one in this gap. I think Dillis Thomas sometimes talks about Ken Pendles but I've watched a bunch of his topics. I like to check Dylan Thomas but like I said I'll be the one to fill in this gap because this just needs to be said alright? <laughs> As a Sonic fan, I have to talk about the bad side. We've been talking about the good side for far too long. It's time to talk about the bad side. And it's not just idiots like Mark the Plumber or Gligar or people are just trolls who just pretended to be mad. No, I'm talking about legit bad fans. Like, yeah. Mark the Plumber's a joke. He's funny. But he... I think I took him way too seriously when I was 13. Yeah, I think we both... Now, kind of I think it's time to get serious. Yeah, I think we both kind of took him way too seriously. I think now is time to dig deep in this rabbit hole because I think we saw nothing. Shoot, I'm gonna need to name need my treasure here. Here, we're gonna do this a little longer. Uh, let that go. If I have to add a trigger warning, I will add a trigger warning. I'll add any parental advisory sticker on it or whatever because this just needs to be said. But like I said, if there's nudity or anything, I won't show it. <laughs> because I don't want to give people nightmares. All I'm just going to say is just look it up for yourself. But this just needs to be freaking said. Just what in the actual hell is this crap? Like, let's analyze this. Who is that skunk character? Who is this 
freaking Samuel Jackson echidna with that mustache that looks like Mr. T's mustache. <laughs> who is this freaking blue female echidna? And who is this Mega Man ripoff? Black. And who is this Indiana Jones with the freaking goatee looking? That has Kidney Rock's goatee. And who is this lady with the green glasses? Just and and who the heck is this guy? This this guy that looks like he wants to pimp these echidnas out. Uh, do you know what? Th- uh, do you know what? Th- and especially and especially this O.J. Simpson freaking Bill Cosby mixture. Just this is the guy that I'm wondering the most. Because this is the only guy I wonder who the freak is that guy. Is it me or the or the goatee looking guy who kind of looks like like a like a predator? And that's what I'm saying. Like, like how, I mean, dude, I like Sonic, but even I would read this. And the fuck, I know, mean, and the skunk looking dude kind of makes me think of Conkle. Dude, Conker's cool. That guy doesn't look cool. Yeah. Conker looks like the type of person that would probably chill with Sonic. This guy looks like a person that just doesn't that just supposed to hurt people. I'm just like Even Ghetto Demigod didn't even talk about this. <laughs> well he does want me Demigod Productions, I mean. But, like, even he didn't talk about this. I can't sneeze and I felt over here somehow. <laughs> this is bad. This is really, really bad. This is the worst art I've ever seen. Like... I'll give Chris Chan the benefit of the doubt. He has um, he has he has autism. Well, I will say this: I draw crappy. I I, I suck at drawing. But mm-hmm. good lord, even <laughs> I could freaking come up with something better on MS Paint than that. Even a freaking crappy looking drawing would look better than that thing. Heck, I came up with build design. I aims with my sister than this. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, okay, at first this video was going to be a talk about the IDW comics. But I, no. uh, but I screwed no, up. We, we'll talk about cool. that <laughs> maybe later on in the video. Maybe another time. But that's not what this video is about. Hell no. Then this I, is about freaking Kent Penders. Then I screwed up. And did not save the recruiting us talking about the comic, so I guess we touched that subject in that time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We we'll went off topic anyway, so who cares? Yeah. <laughs> this is about him. You know our old videos about us ranting about the Sonic fan base or whatever, our countless rants on them, and our countless um, stuff like that, and all the weird stuff, like Mario's Plumber or whatever? No. No, I, I think we didn't even see the worst of it. Those guys were just trolls pretending to be all upset or whatever at stupid stuff. They're just they're just they're just trolls, alright? I grew up. I think I think I think it's now time that I actually grew up because I just realized <laughs> there are way worse people than they are. Yeah, and then like them, they're not acting. Is it Chris Chan? I am ninety nine percent sure. Yeah, you got Chris right. Chan. I think I don't even think we've even talked about Chris Chan much. Chris Chan may be done to death, but even he has this freaking weird stuff. It's freaking. By the way, even though we might talk about Chris Chan, if you want to know all about Chris Chan, go look up uh, Sonic Chew Wiki or look up documentaries on him. You're bound to find mi- like thousands of hours dedicated to him. Yeah, you and Tom. Trust me, I don't talk. even think I could freaking say everything in just one hour. I don't even think I could say everything in just one hour. It is a long, long, hard story. It was a whole Wikipedia around him, believe it or not. 
Yeah, because you got all this stuff like him dancing around in the nude where I saw his freaking butt crack. Thank you, hardcore <laughs> kid, for showing his butt. <laughs> I did not know about that one. Yeah, remember when the hardcore kid was talking about Chris Chan? He said there was even a video where he dances around in the nude and it shows his freaking butt crack. <laughs> no, I don't remember that one. Huh. And that other one where he literally screws his PS3. Uh, really? I didn't know about that one either. Dang! I gotta watch Hot think... Kid. Is he still around? Okay, but you're... Um, yes, yeah, it's called CWCville. Oh, okay. And, but we don't need to talk about it. It is too much. No, it's Ken Pender's time. Okay. I don't think... I don't think I got this in footage, but... I'm gonna say this again. I'm going to say this is apolitical as possible. Even, but I'm going to be honest, even if you even if you hate Trump, you will agree with this right here. He literally compares Trump to Sonic fans. Trump supporters to Sonic fans. Like, huh? What is an extremely rare comparison? I cannot take this guy. This guy should just stay out of politics, just for that alone. Just, just stay out, dude. Here it is. Trump voters remind me of the Sonic fans who claimed I had no rights to my characters and stories. Like those Sonic fans, Trump voters accept Trump's claims despite a total lack of evidence of fraud or illegal ballots being cast. If Trump really had the evidence, he'd produce it. Like... Why are you comparing Sonic to Trump? What the heck does Sonic have to do with Donald Trump? Exactly, that makes no sense. I mean, do you see he Sonic fans outside of his office saying, <laughs> "Pendles, you're fired. Pendles, you're fired. Pendles, you're fired." Jimmy Kimmel. Then Jimmy Kimmel shows up and starts making fun of Sonic fans as well, crying on stage about it probably. <laughs> uh, did he even make a comment about you know, Sonic being with a cop? No, I I don't know if he did, but I still think that claim is ridiculous. Like it's like Sonic is not allowed to do anything anymore. It's not like he's allowed to be edgy. He has to be as safe and freaking sanitized as possible to these freaking idiots. Oh, Sonic's not allowed to curse. Sonic's not allowed to hang out with the cop. Sonic's not allowed to use a gun. Sonic's not allowed to drive. Sonic's not allowed to have stunts. Sonic's not allowed to do this. Sonic's not allowed to do that. I'm sick of hearing of that. Yeah, that's starting to get very okay, annoying. Regina, those guys, those bad boys would beat off to a Mario game, but Mario had a freaking shotgun in it. <laughs> Even though and they would probably make some dumb excuse saying, "Oh, the way Mario does it, it's different." Even though, and like I said, I've grown out of my Mario fanboy attitude. I had, like I said, Super Mario World is my favorite side scroller of all time. I'm not going to deny it. If there is one game I like better than any than most Sonic games. It's Super Mario World. Yeah, I I really enjoy 2D Mario, but for the longest time, I'm probably going to get shot for this, but <laughs> for the longest time, I thought Mario did not work in 3D at all. 64 was this, eh, terrible, and Sunshine it was just a huge mixed bag. I mean, some part was fun, but the rest is kind of like... Why do you make me do this you. game? I'm going to agree with you. There is this one part of Sunshine that I hate, and I still can't get through it. Is where I was, is this electrical one. This electric eel one. I'm like, how the freak am I supposed to beat this stage? That took me forever to beat. <laughs> but I have 100%ed both 64 okay, and honest, Sunshine. Though, Mario, in terms of side-scrolling game, 
I'm going to keep things fair right here. I may be more of a Sonic fan than a Mario fan, but here's the thing, though. Mario may have the better gameplay, but Sonic has the better characters and storylines. That's true. And personally, sometimes I prefer a storyline and character. Same here. I mean, that's why I don't really go back. All I want is something. All I want is something where Sonic has Mario's quality of gameplay and the quality of the storyline from the 2000s games combined into one. Kind of one of, one of the main reasons why I fell out of love with Mario. That would be the perfect Sonic game. The only time it felt close to that was probably the Adventure Games. Yeah, which I kind of fell out of love with Mario. And a lot of people will probably disagree with me on that. I don't think. Which I fell out of love with Mario ever since he went to 3D because they was not doing a lot of 2D Mario stuff at the time, and I was like, eh, Mario just doesn't work in 3D. He that was until I played Galaxy. Was that Galaxy Mario. was fun. Galaxy was the, is now the first we'll say, good.